In a small, tiny village just outside of Mons in South Belgium is a tiny, and I mean tiny, little farmhouse brewery. Now this tiny farmhouse brewery one day was minding its own business when a young man looking to found a brewery came calling. That man's name was Sean Hill, and he went on to found what is uh, claimed to be the greatest brewery in the world, Hill Farmstead. And he wanted to produce uh, a special saison. Uh, partly because he loved producing saisons, but partly because he was looking to learn how to make amazing saison before going back to America to found his brewery. That little brewery was called Blaugies, and I'm about to chat to that man here at Ales Tales Festival. Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Pierre, not beer, although I do have a beer. Uh, from Blaugies, which is a real honor because I've always loved your beer uh, and I never really expected to see you over in the UK, so it's a pleasure to have you here. Of course I'm happy to be here because uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, UK people know uh, a lot of things about beer and uh, Belgium is also a great land about beer as you as United Kingdom, so I'm very proud to be here, to be invited here. <laughs> and. Um, so, I mean, lots of people might not know your brewery. A lot of our audience are in, in America uh, and around the world. So can you tell us a little bit about Blaugies and where it comes from and the history? Blaugies is a family brewery. We started 30 years ago. And now it's my son that is the brewer. I'm now in second line. And uh, the small brewery we ran for 30 years. Now uh, we will, uh, uh, we have uh, built a new one because it was not uh, producing enough beer for the request we have all over the world. The world. Mm -hmm. And so uh, now uh, my son is running a, a, new, a new brewery and uh, we will also, of course, uh, ex uh, extend uh, production and extend exportation. But we still, still with always the idea to keep the quality of our production. It's the main goal. Keep the quality. Keep the quality. So how, how big was your old brewery? I can see it down here. It's, it doesn't look big. And how big is the new place going to be? The capacity of each bus was around 7, uh, uh, 750 liters. The new brewery will be uh, 3,000 liters per batch and four batch a day. I mean, the beer that most people might know you for, uh, perhaps outside of Belgium, is La Vermontois, which was a collaboration with Sean Hill of Hill Farmstead. How did that come about? Uh, because Sean was about to visit me and Daniel Shelton that, uh, that makes the importation of our ale to the United States asked me to, to brew something special with uh, our Sean and Sean asked me to if it was uh, if we could brew with the base of uh, Saison Depot and I said yes but it's for Daniel we have to put an American touch and uh, I asked him he has a special op he said was thinking American op we could use talk about Amarillo, I found the Amarillo and uh, the day before we brew we have a, a discussion to know how hoppy should be the beer and Belgium is American so we have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where did it land? More to your notion of hoppy or his notion? But hoppy is a, for me is a, a classical. It's a, a, I think that a, a beer is like a painting. There must be a balance. And I'm balanced for everything, for the color and also for uh, bitterness. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes the balance is different. <laughs> it can be at an angle, but it can't fall off the easel. Uh, and wh why did you start the brewery? It, it's been around for a couple of decades now? Because we were a, a beer lover, and uh, my, uh, my father has always uh, be, uh, be uh, interested by quality of beer. And at that time, when I was young, five years, six years old, at school, we were still drinking uh, table beer, but so the taste was interesting. It was not a stupid table beer. <laughs> and so the taste remained, and I was a, a good beer lover, and the idea, I had the idea to, to, to produce small quantity, but when you put your finger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you go all the way in. Yeah. So, so the, you, what you produce is mostly sort of saison style, so lots of esters from the yeast and that kind of thing. Um, that, that came from those table beers you were drinking? No, because table beer at the time was made with the hand of uh, 
the filtration tanks with the low density mow to drive a low density beer. Right. I, uh, the season was also low density beer, but for, from coming from a, a batch, and it was especially brewed for the worker and the field for the farmer. So tell Ed, Ed you're a brasserie, is it, it's, it's attached to a restaurant and you can go and visit the brewery and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we have a lot of uh, visitors because we have first the brewery, but my husband's son, the youngest, has a, a built a restaurant 18 years ago and we have a lot of success because, of course, we have a, uh, some uh, place with the beer and uh, of course also with meat because we are in uh, an area where there is a lot of coal and uh, Belgian people like meat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Belgian fries of course. <laughs> of course you've got some here at Ales Tales, lots of Belgian fries. Uh, somehow they are better and the ketchup as well. Your ketchup's just somehow spicier as well like your, like your saison. So I, I think uh, Belgian people first uh, with French fry, uh, Belgian fries, excuse me, like mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Homemade, of course. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for chatting to yeah, us. Uh, Le Vermontois is a beautiful beer, but also the, the, the Saison and the Dar Beast is with, um, uh, with fig juice. Yes. But the fig juice mostly ferments out, so what's that sort of doing with the beer? Right, so the fig juice is full of sugar. Uh, so uh, the, heat will, uh, the yeast will eat all the sugar, mm -hmm. but it will remain some it's a strange taste that will make all the uh, charm, with French is charm, of uh, the, the taste of the Darbys. Yeah. It, it's, it's a magical beer because it's one of those beers where you can taste something, but you can't quite put your finger on what it is. But it's got, like you say, it should be like a painting. It's got some extra colors you don't expect and you're not quite sure where it's coming from. And the balance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to fall off. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you so much for chatting to us. Uh, we need to come to Brasserie, uh, Brasserie de Blaugy because um, their beers are truly stunning. So if you do see it, uh, do pick it up off of the shelf and do come to Ales Tales where there's lots of other amazing guys. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.